My mom had breast cancer, she had other cancers, so I'm doing it for my mom. I'm supporting my cousin's daughter who's fighting breast cancer. I was diagnosed in 2007, so I'm celebrating my 10 year anniversary this year. So my family all came in to surprise me. Burka 2 positive and so obviously a big family history and also my mother-in-law also is a two-time cancer survivor as well. I'm very fortunate to have my mom here and kind of blessed to have her today with uh, her granddaughter and my husband. I lost my sister to breast cancer uh, probably about five months before I was diagnosed and she died of breast cancer, had no insurance and didn't seek out a mammogram in time. So it's very important to me. My uh, wife's uncle actually had breast cancer and ended up passing from me. He found out about it at uh, stage four, so he, we didn't have much time. So ever since then, it's even more near and dear to the heart. It's very important as a survivor to help everybody, help other women get what the treatment that I was able to get good way to support people that can't afford to get their mammograms and care that those of us that have health insurance can get. It's really inspirational and when you look in front of you and in back and you see the thousands of people supporting this, it's pretty humbling. And to see the long line of people out there was just uh, amazing. It's just a sense of community. I mean, you come together and all of these ladies are going through the same struggles that seem so unique to our family. but. It's a bigger sense once you see all these people walking around and being a part of it. I like the idea that it supports women in getting free mammograms if they're not able to have it through their insurance. I mean, that's a big part of it for me so that it's available for everybody. It's just very inspiring to know that people can come together and support such a good cause. I know there's somewhere around 15,000 supporters, so it's amazing to have that many people come together for one cause. don't realize the masses of people it affects until you show up at this event and see thousands and thousands of people walking around and then it kind of you realize how big cancer really is. It's one of the most emotional things I do every year. I just I between people supporting Cedar Rapids and supporting people who can't afford treatment uh, I just think it's so amazing and, and that it's run by a local organization. It's To think that we have 14, 15,000 people and it's not a national group, that's amazing. So it makes me proud. It's very moving, very moving, especially when you see so many people support it. It's really neat. So, so I will be definitely coming again next year. Maybe someday we'll find a cure.